welcome back. So today I am doing a last minute fall, insp fall inspired. No girl. <laughs> I'm doing a last minute New Year's Eve makeup tutorial. I was literally sitting tonight and I'm like, I don't know what to film. Like I can film another New Year's Eve makeup tutorial, but is it like too late? You know what I mean? Like what do you guys want to see? Like what do you guys want to see on my channel? I don't know. So I posted a question on Instagram asking what you guys wanted to see and majority rules is last minute New Year's Eve makeup tutorial so backstory on this is I look really crazy with just brows on my face and I wanted to do something different because I feel like everyone does gold black or silver for New Year's I ended up going into all of like my glitters that I have and I have a lot of samples from MAC. This is a pro glitter, um, it's a pink glitter, you can probably find like NYX I'm pretty sure has something or even a drugstore has a pink glitter or you can even like use this as inspiration for any gold glitters or any other glitters that you have. But I wanted to do something different. This is a pink glitter and I'm definitely winging this, I'm kind of scared. But I wanted to do something different, that's the point. I just wanted to do something different. So, I'm gonna be using a lot of different products. And let's cross our fingers. This comes out great. You guys asked for a talk through tutorial. So that's what I'm gonna be filming today. So I already have my foundation on. And today I am using a Too Faced Born This Way in the color called Sand. This is totally appropriate to wear for New Year's because it's a long lasting foundation. It provides a very good medium coverage. So it's not like over the top, but it's gonna last pretty well throughout the night. So that's why I wore it. My skin is more normal than dry, but this doesn't feel cakey on my face at all. It feels very nice and satiny on my face. And I already have my eyebrows done. I will list all the products down below in the description box. If you want to know about anything that I'm wearing on this video, it will be down below. So let's go ahead and get started because it's been almost three minutes long I've been talking. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to prime my eyes, which is extremely important. And this is a MAC Painterly Paint Pot. I am just going to use my finger and dab this all over my lid up towards my crease because I already have concealer in there. Um, it's really important personally for me to wear an eyeshadow primer just because this definitely adds a lot of bounce to your shadow so your shadow is going to pick up a lot of colors. On top of that it adds really nice blendability. If you put concealer on, sometimes the wear of it doesn't last as long or you get creasing with it or your eyeshadows just blend in all together, I want to be able to tell where each placement is going to be. And this is just a skin tone base. This is my favorite eyeshadow primer. So this is what I'm going to use. So now to get started on the eyes, I'm going to go into my Anastasia Artist Palette, which I really love this palette. And the first color that I'm going to use is this color called Buttery right here, which is just like a vanilla shade, I guess you can say. And I'm going to pop this on with probably a fluffy brush because I always do that anyways. And then just blend this up towards the brow bone, down towards my lid. Now for the next shade, I'm going to use the color called Dusty Rose, which is absolutely a beautiful crease color. It's not your typical like soft brown shade. It has more of a mauve to it. This is going to be perfect, especially because we're going to be using more pinks probably maybe some plum shades and I'm gonna pop this right on to my crease so wherever I feel that bone that's where I'm applying on that color I'm gonna slowly build this up as well because I don't want to over apply this product so a little bit goes a long way now that we popped on our transitioning shade I am going to go in into a MAC shadow. I'm going to use the color called, hmm, what color should I use? I kind of want to use brown script. I always use these type of colors. Hmm. I'm going to use brown script. I have to do it. I have to do it because I know it's going to look good. Okay, so I'm going to use brown script and I'm just going to use a MAC 224 brush and mix that in right into the dusty rose. This is more of a warmer tone, which pretty much has more of a red undertone into it. So it's gonna give a nice vibrancy to our eyeshadows. And then go back 
with the blend, blending brush that I had before and just blend these colors in together. You need a color called Swiss Chocolate and just pop this only into the fold of my crease. It's gonna add like a nice a bit depth to our shadow. So a really nice contrast in between the transitioning shades and the deeper brown. And then go black, go black, go back and blend out, girl. We want to blend this out, girl. I'm gonna use a color Pink Nude, this is from NYX. It's a jumbo pencil, jumbo pencil crayon thing. Anyways, it's just like this. It's like a pearly, really pretty pink pearlized pencil. And I'm gonna pop this all over my lid and then blend this out with my pinky finger. Boy, fit. So this is more of a creamy texture, so the glitter is gonna definitely stick to it. I preferably would definitely say use a glitter glue, but I don't have one. I have all these glitters, no glitter glue, I don't know why. So I'm just gonna use my Kat Von D um, setting spray and the back of an Anastasia synthetic brush. Just make sure that's nice and damp, and then kind of clean off whatever is in there so it's not too wet. Pick up the glitter pigment. Ooh, girl, Woo! And then pop this all over our lid, so. It goes all or nothing. Oh my goodness, this is so dope. Loving that. You don't have to worry about placing this too close to your eyelash line your lash line because I'm gonna use eyeliner anyways and lashes, so don't worry about that area. God, it's kind of filling up, I'm not gonna lie. Actually, what's really nice is that I don't have pretty much any fallout underneath my eyes, so yes. Yes, girl, yes. Now, what I'm going to do is conceal underneath and then we'll go back on our eyes. So I am going to use NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color called Custard. And I'm just going to carve out the eyeshadow as well. Just gonna go with the beauty blender. You know the deal after that. All right, so now that I put on concealer, I'm gonna set my concealer underneath. I'm gonna use a Kat Von D Shade and Light palette, and I'm gonna use more like a pinker shade, so I'm probably just gonna mix all the highlighting shades. That's what I've been doing. I love that technique, so it's been working for me. I don't want it too yellow underneath my eyes, so I'll probably use more of like the pinker shades and leave the yellow out. Just to kind of blend out, you know, with the foundation as well, because we don't want it to look too yellow. Slowly coming together, slowly. So now for underneath my lash line, I'm gonna go back with a brown script and just pop this underneath. I'm gonna use a color called Nylon and pop this underneath my brow bone. Drama for your mama, Bobo. And then I'm gonna pop Nylon also in my inner tear duct. All right, so now for eyeliner, I'm gonna use the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof uh, Pencil Pen Liner. I don't think I'm gonna create a wing, but I am gonna create just a line on top of our lash line. This stuff is bomb, it's super pigmented, definitely waterproof, so if you're gonna be shedding some tears, or you just want a really bomb liner, 
definitely, definitely recommend this. You know what? I think we're gonna go for the wig. And for our waterline, I'm going to use Sephora's waterproof pencil and just pop this into our waterline. And I'm just gonna go with the color called Coil, which is a black shade in the palette. And wherever I place the eyeliner, I'm just gonna smudge this underneath. That way it will keep our eyeliner in place and it doesn't smudge throughout the night because you definitely don't want a raccoon eye. Now for mascara, I'm gonna use IT Cosmetics Hello Lashes. I really, really love this mascara, it's pretty bomb. Just add a light layer because we are, girl, we gonna use some false lashes up in this video. Now we're gonna pop on our lashes. I'm just using Bella from Coco Lashes. Um, I don't have the box anymore, so I'm just gonna pop these on. Okay, excuse my eye. It's turning red. Um, it has, I don't know what's going on with it. Obviously it's irritated, so. But this is what the eyes look like. Now let's go ahead and finish the face. I'm gonna use the Too Faced Born This Way Chocolate Soleil in Dark Chocolate. And then just pop this pretty much anywhere I wanna bronze. So just under the chin, on on my cheeks, on my forehead, everywhere. I'm gonna use the Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop Highlighter. I never use this and it's expensive, so we're gonna pop this on tonight. Look at that highlight. Oh girl. Definitely um, crazy highlight. Now to finish off the look, I'm gonna use NYX Pencil in Peekaboo Neutral, and then Stila Stay All Day Color in Basima, which is like a pinky nude. Then to top off our look, I'm just gonna go ahead and use Kat Von D's Black and Loads Misting Spray. I like it. You can always obviously change out the lip. It doesn't have to be this exactly, but... Digging it. Mm -hmm. 